my friends, to the Coliseum. Grizzly Mantis here. We're back in standard with a spicy little contender called the Fabled Angels. Why? Well, there's a Fabled Mirror Breaker inside of my Angels list. Hence, the Fabled Angels. We actually played Mardu Angels uh, pre-rotation back when we had all the all the goodies, all Righteous Valkyrie and all the friends. But, you know, it was actually a very powerful deck, and I wasn't thinking too much about Angels post-rotation until I started to realize, oh, wait, there's actually a lot of them still around. In fact, we lost some of the best, you know, we lost the Valkyries of two, three, four drops, all of them across the board, but, we you know, there's enough left, we can give it another shot, so that's where we're at. We started off as basically an Orsoff uh, Angels list, I mean, it was Mono White, then of course, Leasa came in, so came in, we had removal, got every removal, we open up to the sideboard, and then it's like, well, Fable was pretty sweet last time, so we gotta bring Fable, and now we can kick Archangel over at the ESC, how we arranged where you know, arrange the list to be where we are now. So let's take a quick gander here. Not too much to go over. A lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, First off, the Angels that really revolves around Giada, Font of Hope. I mean, it's white acceleration that grows the rest of your team based on the number of Angels you have in play. It's pretty fantastic. Doesn't live long, which is unfortunate, but I mean, it's the risk you run. If, you're, if you untap with your two drop, you'll probably be all right. If you don't, Hey, you keep chugging forward, right? As far as our three drops go, of course, we do have Inspiring Overseer, the Scourge of Spirits of New Capenia Draft. <laughs> and there's a Battlefield Gain of Life draw card. Not the most exciting thing ever. Following a Giada, it's a 3-2. Following other things, it just gets huge. Replaces itself. It's just a fabulous little card. Aside from that, our three drops, Wedding Announcement, and Fable of the Mirror Breaker, two of the best cards in the format. Nothing really needs to be said about that. Um, as far as our Angels go beyond... Our early drops, like I said, we got Sarah Paragon for the infinite value of this stack of cards. And then Archangel of Wrath, because the second we six, hit six mana, we want to start gunning things down like crazy. There's been a lot, a lot of mono red, a lot of gruel out there. And it's nice to have something like Archangel to be able to take out a threat or two, gain life, and then just be a 3-4 lifelinker minimum. Of course, if Gia doesn't play, of course, it'll be huge. But a minimum 3-4 lifelinker. Now, in our five drop slot, we, of course, have Liesa. A uh, big old lifelinking angel, which I absolutely love. It's got text in there that is pretty good about, you know, creature you dies, non-token. It goes back to your hand at, at the end step. Creature and opponent controls will die. Exile instead. Comes into play with things like Tenacious Underdog or Corpse Appraiser. And these are all fresh in my mind because I just got done playing Grixis. Yeah. And then this one's a little bit of a wild card. Enduring Angel. I was going through the list of angels and I'm like, man. Doesn't get much love because, of course, you know, it's a 3-3, which means it dies to not only removal, but also lightning strike now. However, it is a 3-3 flying double strike, gives you hexproof, and it will save your life and get huge if you die with it on the board. How often will that happen? I, that's a good question, but I figured it was worth testing out. I mean, who knows how, how long even the hexproof will come into play, but still, it's a 3-3 flying double strike angel. If we have Gata in play, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And, you know, I kind of wanted to try it. I'm trying to think, like, outside of Burn, is Hexproof ever going to be a thing? Uh, Liliana makes it so we can't get sacked or targeted by the ultimate. Yeah, you know, Hexproof might be a thing. And then, of course, topping it all off, the angel that ties the whole deck together, Sanctuary Warden. Fantastic card. Doesn't need to be said. I mean, people reanimate, cheat, play this into play nonstop. Now, aside from that, our removal is pretty straightforward. we got Faithful Absence, Infernal Grasp, and Soul Transfer. I do have some more in the board. Again, we're probably going to be playing Best of One. If I decide, eh, Best of One ain't working, let's try Best of Three. We do have a board, which I will put below. It's nothing too crazy. You know, Duresses and rank, uh, Bank Busters for Control. we got some more removal. Farewell, Cut Down for the quicker aggro. It's very self, very, you know, straightforward, self-explanatory, yada, yada, yada. So, anywho, my friends, if this is your first time at the Coliseum, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. Our numbers grow every day thanks to you beautiful and amazing people. Also, assuming we do not just get pummeled into the ground, we will be looking at the untapped.gg statistics after the game. So, if that is your jam, stick around to the end. Otherwise, my friends, let's get to the games. Hmm, on the play, yeah, lands, stuff to do, time to do it. It's not the worst thing ever. Turn thing wedding announcement to Sarah Paragon. It's not the most exciting thing ever. Oh, snap. Let's see if she lives. If she lives, we'll untap and drop a big Sarah Paragon. If she doesn't, eh, we'll make a wedding announcement. Will she live? She will not. Fair enough. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, totally. 
Okay, oh, discard a paragon. Oh, well, well, probably a bad idea to discard a paragon. Probably discard a land and. Oof, I'm so bad about the land. Ooh, that stinks. And now we can probably safely discard a paragon and a land. Then we have to suicide this guy into it. It's a lot of paragons. I could just ditch two paragons. Nah. Nah, just one. Okay, so the land was there. Hmm, nah, not interested in suicide today. Next turn, perhaps, we'll suicide him, because then we can, of course, make a double three drop. And by double three drop, I mean if we draw another three drop. Otherwise, we can just play the Gat out of the graveyard and then play Wedding Announcement. But we'll see what happens. We don't want to see a Rafine here. Well, no. A Shieldred. Wedding announcement it is. Okay. That works. All right. So the song do 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 Giada wedding announcement. I can dig it. Show me what you got. Play bigger Paragons. We can play a bigger Paragon. There she be. All right, Ruffine. Really? All right, who's blocking what now? Let's see how big it gets. So we're looking at a four, five. Scary. Well, that's easy. Right there. I could block with all of these. Eh. Poof. Anywho, he gains some life. He plays his land. He draws his card. Oh, we're one short. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Six six flying double strike haste. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kapow! I have hexproof just in case you were thinking of hexing me. Boop, 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 boop. Let's draw a card. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. So it's a shame that you can't, the copy can't be kicked, but you know, who's complaining? Good game, opponent! Good game. Hmm. Oh, yeah, totally. Gotta. We got Gata into Overseer. Heck yeah, let's just hope Gata survives. If not, well, yeah, that's life. Dismal Backwater. Interesting. So I'm guessing Gata's not going to survive. What do you guys think? If Gata survives, we'll go Paragon. If Gata does not survive, oh my goodness, Gata survives. Paragon it is. Now, assuming everybody survives. Aw. Why well, you gotta be mean, homie? Why well, you got to be mean? Get in there. No? Oh, there you go. You gonna kill that dude? Yeah. No more double spell for me. My board hath been taken down. Holy cow. Dude's crushing me. No double spells to be had. So I'm thinking... Let's just go Fable the Mirror Breaker here. Set up the potential double spell for next turn. Man, what a brutal couple of turns, eh? If he makes the dude, then we're definitely gonna... Yeah. Alright. Alright, do we need to discard anything? Let's see. Attack. One, two, three, four, five. It allows us to double spell so we can ditch one land. Alright. Kill the Soren. I won't let this be. 
Let's go with the wedding announcement here. Save the Overseer for next turn. I gotta get better about discarding lands. I get way too greedy with this Fable. I should have held the land, but eh, yeah, it's hard to say. Hmm. Tainted Indulgence? What is happening? Just as a draw engine? Nothing wrong with that. He did. Yeah. There's a moral in here. I just don't want to hear it. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's get in there for one. He could be having the. Either of his artifacts are holding priority, so. Not too worried about that. Let's just continue with the wedding announcement train. Yeah, there you go. My gift to you, sir. I'm going to keep this right here in case Sheldred pops up. Burning down the house. Burning down the house. Got it. Start with the Inspiring Overseer. Right now this is holding priority, I imagine. Could be something else. Force Spike. Punt. I used both of my sources of black. Definitely a punt. Yep. Yep. See if we're gonna be burning down the house. Burning down the house. Reasonable. Gave up Aronis Vortex in the land, so whatever he got was pretty good. Fable the Mirror Breaker, sure. Hmm. Let's go to end step, just in case. Sorry. All right. Not what I needed to see here. Yep, might as well. Draw a card. Hopefully it's something good. That is not good. It's not terrible, but it's not good. What did up? Two lands. Yep. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Yes, sir. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a good one. Do I want to wait until I can get value out of it, just in case he's got something, like another, uh... Eh, let's just play it. If he has another burn it on the house, it won't kill the Paragon, so we'll go from there. Oh boy, what's in his hand? Why am I terrified of it? Down to six. Burning down the house. Burning down. Nope. Oof. Yeah, I should have waited until we got that value, but oh well. He's at six. All we need is. All we need is a miracle. All we need is you. Might as well, right? No need to bluff here. We know what's happening. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. What do I have to bring back? Uh, nothing. So yeah, we'll just take out the corpse appraiser and attack for lethal. And here we are. We got double keekers. Gotta deal with this inspiring overseer. This is where we be, my friends! Could use one of our big, scary angels. Okay. Alright, what to get back here? Corpse appraiser, I imagine? 
Oh, Soren. And a land. Very good. Unfortunate. Got to kill some stuff. He's got to block it. Yep, we'll kill the Keekers. We'll kill the Flyer. He could make another one and then suicide it in, so we'll see. <laughs> the pups are sparring. Here we are again. He's got something holding priority. Oh, he could just make copies, of course. Yep. You can deal with my servant. I'm busy. Uh, huh. Uh huh. So there you go. Well, let's make sure we kill the real one. He's dead! He's alive. It's all for me. And here we are again! Man. Fable the Mirror Breaker. So friggin' good! Breaking her bank buster. So friggin' good! Where's Shieldred? Oh, I don't play that right now. <laughs> That's right. That's a different deck. Might as well. Might Yeah, I was gonna say, might as well. Solkanar! Man, he's feeling pretty good. I don't see what the good game was about, but it just was a good game, huh? Man, where's all of our big, big scary angels? I mean, essentially, it's a good game. He'll just re reflection me out end of turn. Yep. Yep. Nah, this one's over. Let's see what happens, though. He's going to be up to six, and then he's going to kill us before we have the ability to, uh, you know, do anything about it. Mm-hmm. Got him! Man, so close and yet so far. Yep. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's worth a try, huh? Oh, if that last card to make disappear, I'm gonna be so angry. Yep. This is where we are. Well, maybe it's not over yet, but I'm pretty sure it is. End of turn, he just makes some clones. No? No clones? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yep. Yep. Sure. Up to 14. Down to four. I'm going to decline on this one. <laughs> I'm going to keep trying here. I think it's over, but it might not be. Okay. Mm, now it's over. Z the third good game in a row, baby! Well done, Grixis. Well done, Sulkanar. Mm, uh, this one's a little weak. I got the turn to Giada, but we got nothing else outside of it. And you're like, wow, why'd you keep it? Well, well you know, with ifs and buts for candy and nuts, this would be amazing. It just seems to be, let's play against Blue X deck. 
today. Now I'm drawing all my whammies. Don't need to draw them now. Grixis again? Cripes. Yep. All right, this one's over. Or is it? He's like, cut down again, end of turn. Like, no! How many lands am I playing? Eh, only 25. Probably won't see a third one for five or six turns. Look at this beautiful pattern we get going here. For future reference, this should have been a mulligan. <laughs> should have been a mulligan. Come on, Xander. What you got going on over there, mate? Okay. Got him! Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and quietly reflect on how dumb it was to keep a two-lander with a bunch of six drops. It was pretty dumb. I think the dogs think it was pretty dumb, too. You guys think it was pretty dumb? Oh, look! It's a Fable of the Mirror Breaker! Yay! Alright, cool. Alright, cool. We're back in it, boys! <laughs> Good gravy. I think after this, you know what? I might play a couple best of three, if only because... Man, I don't want to play nothing but Grixis all day. They seem to think because I play red and black, I should play against nothing but red and black, which is kind of lame. The irony being, prior to this, I was playing Grixis. Maybe it's Punishment. Uh, okay, there's a black. Yup, that's how it goes. That's a red. Ooh, okay. Okay. Why didn't you just tap? Eh, it doesn't matter. Yep. Oh my goodness. Just drop the graveyard trespasser? Okay, sure. Yeah, no blocks here, mate. No blocks. No blocks. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> hmm. oh, might as well just keep playing stuff. Oh, it's a gather. No, I'm just kidding. Got Keekers. Keeker Jeekers. Okay. Oh, man. Yes, there you go. No blocks here, sir. I'm here. I'm awake. This is not the most boring thing ever. It's quite not. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, very good. Skill is intensive. So we hit a land. If we hit a white land, we'll go Enduring Angel. Otherwise, we'll just keep on rolling out Sarah Paragons. Flip the wedding announcement. And, uh, perfect. Okay. I have Hexproof. <laughs> It does stop Liliana, and if he happens to be playing something like Invoke Despair, it stops that too. But that's about it. Ooh, it's a puppy. Ooh, good puppies. Yes. Yes. Very good. Here we go. Our opponent. 
cautiously thinks through his next move. Could it be Blood Tide Harvest? It could, in fact, be Blood Tide Harvester. Then, perhaps Kiki Jiki will copy Blood Tide Harvester. Interesting. Then, perhaps the second one will be sacrificed to kill Enduring Angel. Oh, masterful. What could happen next, folks? Your, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, it appears a combat step is entered. Come of this block, my friends. What will happen? Oh man, I'm about to be like, let's take votes. Hands up, who wants to concede just to move on? The crisis player cautiously evaluates his moves. What will happen next? We'll define the match. Will he? Activate a blood token. Or perhaps use a removal spell. Oh, the timer has begun. The thinking, the big brain, it's in full action. Wait, wait! Oh. Apparently not. Apparently nothing will come of this. Oh, wait, there's a land. But what else will it come? What else will happen? Only time will tell, people. This is not too slow. In fact, I am awake. Oh! The timing. It ticks downward. But what will the play be? What will happen? I'm being told I'm talking too loud. I'm disrupting the flow. Come back, be active now. Yes. And now, tick tock goes the clock. Or not. So it's a 6 6, either way. Do I wish to attack? gonna kill the blood tithe heart or he's gonna kill the sanctuary warding with the blood tithe harvester now we're in a bit of a pickle <sighs> oh my goodness i mean he was back he's out of timer so it'd be nice to get yeah oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness <sighs> yeah let's go to best of three after this at least in best of three, you don't run into this. I can just concede and move on to the next game. Yep. Uh, I did it, guys! I did the thing! Look, look, guys, I did it again! I did the thing! Yes, we know. Wow, very good. Anything else? What's up, Tubbs? What's up, Bob? Who is a good puppy? Oh, it's a corpse appraiser! Anyways, who's a good puppy? Yeah, I don't think anything I have will survive this lock. We need a removal spell. One of our many removal spells would be fabulous, but of course, we're just never gonna draw them. Is this karma? Is this karma for me playing Grixis in the last video? Ugh, this is painful. If you're anything like me, it's muted and double speed, and you're still probably like, oh my god, what is happening? Oh, I'm gonna turn them sideways, guys! Okay. Let's just keep playing the game. Did it work? Ah, uh, yeah, I think it did. Now we return to the contemplative second main. Cool, dude. 
Awesome! Yes, Shieldred! Ugh, cripes, of course. Now I'm drawing crap like this. <sighs> Hear it. Get life, draw a card. No attacks. This game is over. Man. Alright. Oh, now you're gonna pick up the pace? Ah, guys, I figured it out! I figured it out! Oh my god. Should I just send him sleepy emojis? Let's just sleep. And then the last one I'll do with GG, because this game is over. Just come on, dude. You've worn out all your timers. This is not difficult. I better kill this one, guys. Yup. Come on, just get to the GG. Once we get to the GG. Oh, I hear you, pup. I'm with you. Once we get to the GG, I'm gonna... There it is. Okay, dude. I'm out. I'm out. I just don't care. I love you, Solkanar. You're the bomb. But jeez, come on. What was that? Almost 12-minute game? Blah. Oh, yeah, you're a good puppy. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're in best of three. We got Giada. We got stuff to do. Time to do it. Let's keep. I'll leave the sundown pass. Go to Giada. Oh, yeah, good puppy. Ooh, never mind. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Boop. Got all the removal. Oh, yeah, good puppy. Give me some kisses. Give me some kisses. What do you got? Ooh, Courier's briefcase. Looks like we got some domain action, eh? I like it. It's not freaking... Grixis. That means our Giada might survive. Uh, sure. It's like zoo domain. Ooh, he says no, no, not ley line of binding. How dare you? How dare you? Why would you do such a thing? Did I put the uh, what's the majiggers in the sideboard? Uh, the uh, can't remember. Destroy evil. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Land. Actually, this time we're gonna go. Oh, that doesn't work. Yeah, it's just para another paragon. I was gonna go three into three into do job, but nah. Bank Buster. Bank Buster. All right. Take care of that bad boy, and here we go. Draw your card. Mm, yep. One, two, three. Bring back the Giada. We're going to discard anything next turn. Might discard the Fateful Absence, but might not. All well, depends on what he does here. Drag to the bottom. He's got the double black. Here it comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, that doesn't help you against flyers, but I can understand the allure. Um, we'll just of course, because I could just replay it. Hmm. Faithful absence open. Otherwise, just gonna be chump blocking. See what else he's got for me. Cool thing is now if he sweeps, he takes out his own uh, herd migration.
There we go. And there we go. Yeah. Alright, so. What do we want here? Strayville seems pretty good. Duress seems pretty good. What do we not want? I'm not really interested in soul transfer. I'm not really digging infernal grasp. Now comes the tough part. Because everything... I like everything. So maybe... Could just take out Faithful Absence in its entirety. Ugh. I mean, the Destroy Evil does hit the Enchantment Creatures or the Reckoner Bankbuster, so it might not be necessary. And then I guess I could... I mean... His whammies are going to be... Yeah, I don't want to take out any threats, so maybe only just two Duress. Don't really feel it's like taking out any of my good cards here. I guess Wedding Announcement's probably the weakest of the bunch if I want to keep Duress in. I'll tell you what, let's do three and three. Tough to say, because I do, because wedding announcement's so, so good. Archangel of Wrath is probably not at its greatest here, but again, I don't really want to take out uh, Flyers, since he's obviously got problems with them. A single Flyer can win this game. Eh, let's just do a trio of duress and try that. And if it turns out that, you know, we overvaluate how good these cards are, then we go from there. Sure. Set the stage for Giada. Do this. What do you got for me? All right. So Green Widow, Bank Buster, Fable. Yeah, looks like he's banking on the Buster. So. Could have taken the herd migration, but I don't know. I don't really want to screw him out of lands here. This dude's going to be a B. Forgot about him. Definitely should have brought in uh, not taking out all the removal. Yep. But then again, let's hope the ES is good enough. Interesting. Yep. Oh boy. I'm going to decline that one. Well, let's go. He went aggro. All right, well, duresses are getting back out, and all of our removal's coming back in, baby. Opponent knows how to play this crap. Dang! Yeah, he does. That's interesting. I'll take five life. Thanks, homie. Watch, he's got, like, something. I just got destroyed. All right. I guess we'll find out, huh? So we'll start here. Topiary Stomper. No one here has reach yet, correct? Correct. Draw a card, draw a card, play a threat. Ooh, that's a good one. That'll be a reason to suicide this homeboy in next turn. Probably gotta take some damage here, but we'll see what happens. Yep, another stomper. One, two, three, four, five, what's this, seven or more? All right, not there yet. I take it back. <laughs> I think we got a race, in all honesty. Because we got to get the Liesa. I should have probably played the Giada, but ooh. Got me. 
he's going to start bringing back the uh, homeboys this turn, so. Let's see, we're going to be taking some beats on the back burn, but then we get a treasure token and we can copy. Yes. Need the treasure token so that we can play the warden and copy it. So we got suicide the 2 2 in. Yep. Gain some life. Topiary Stomper, got it. Yep. See what he top decks. This is where we're at. It's up to seven, but he's only got one creature with a reach on the board. Potentially two, because of reflection. Here we go. Very good. Back up to nine. Yeah, if we can, we're going to try to hold off on uh, activating the Kiki until end of turn so we can do a double activation. But not necessary. Not necessary at all. Nice. All right, and we are back. Had to keep it quick, unfortunately, out of time. But uh, we'll maybe squeeze in one more match. But it seemed to go very well. Like, it seemed to go very well. So what did we do? We went... um. One and two in games, and then two and zero. Oh, uh, excuse me, one and zero. Oh. So total of three and two. Not the best record, but this stack definitely seems better suited for best of three. So you know what? I do think I'll do a part two because I don't think I did this deck justice. Um, as far as what I would change, I'm not gonna change too much. Four duress might be excessive, but I guess the logic was take out these four. And then probably two wedding announcement, bring in destroy evil for duress against a, you know, hmm. it's hard to say. But at the same time, you know what, this, it, uh, the deck seems sweet. Seems like you just keep going, especially if you get Gata on the board. But if you, even if you don't, you, know, you got two, three, four, we got a nice little curve. We got the ability to rebuy things with Paragon. I mean, the angels are still very much alive. And it really is also Sanctuary Warden. Like the fact that Sanctuary Warden's an angel, mwah, just, you know, the cherry on the Sunday there. The deck seems solid. I wish I had more time to play, but unfortunately I do not. My friends, if you are still here, you are the you are the real MVP. I I uh, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I am humbled that you would stick around to the very end. You are the bomb.com, my friends. All right, well, this is not the end of this deck. I do think I will play it some more. Maybe I'll just do some gameplay video with it because it did seem pretty darn fun. It did seem pretty powerful, but ill-suited for best of one. I will say that. Nah, you know, best of one today was just a pile of grixis but at least we got something different in best of three so anywho my friends thank you again as always i will see everybody la tour